Right, where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of Blacklight Minigolf in Ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Throw your next birthday with our VIP party pack. Our party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night full of flirty fun. Our state-of-the-art arcade has the latest games with the coolest prizes. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish gang over to Scary Strokes, where every experience matters. <laughs> All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome in as we get ready to go back to racing action here from the beautiful Richmond Raceway. It is the Slingshot Sim Racing Series presented to you by Race City Racing Memorabilia, Scary Strokes, Anything Electric, Anything EC, Pop and Mike Promotions, and all of our other amazing sponsors, including Buck Crack Motorsports and Peacemaker Games. Gaming as we'll get these drivers ready to rumble here in this one. They are loaded into the sim. Each and every one of them looking for the win here is see Dirty Monkey Motorsports, one of our series sponsors as well. They got a lot of drivers out there on the racetrack looking for some good runs, some good drives here this evening as you do see the number 54, Ryan Elaine Phillips out there on the racetrack. Cody DeForge, he's in that Race City Racing memorabilia, number 24, rolling out there on the racetrack. Brandon Key in that five ride, looking very fast as James McRae in the pop box. Toyota up into position number 19 here as currently quickest on the racetrack is Jackson Carr. His car, the quickest out there in the triple nickel ride. John Ross, the 44, currently second fast out there on the track. Christian Del Gun out there in the high velocity TV number 31 ride currently the third quickest here down across the line looking to get a little quicker a little faster there on that lap doesn't look like it is going to matter though as he'll stay in that third spot as qualifying coming to a close here in a quick quick hurry drivers getting done their qualifying session as James Smith going to jump up inside the top 20 here is the number 10 ride the Hooters machine rolls out there on the racetrack looking strong as always as Craig Michael Deacon, my boy Craig, coming in with that heart reaction. Mama Bear with the heart reaction as well. How are you, Mama Bear? Brycey Bear, Bryce Dickinson coming in with the heart here in the broadcast as well. What's good, Brycey Bear? Mama Bear, how are you? Andrew Hainsley with the like and the share as well. And Ty Dickinson, sweet T gang up in the house here is Ty coming in with that heart reaction as well. All the Dickinsons coming in, showing the love here in this one as Craig Michael Deacon says, let's go grip Hackney, cheering on Mr. Keith. Hackney out there on the track is currently right now. Where is Hackney in this leaderboard? Hackney did not get a good qualifying run so far. Currently in that 24th position, sandwiched between David Trailer and Bryce Dickinson back there in position number 24. As a few more drivers left to go here, still waiting for qualifying laps from Gary Wright, Cody DeForge, Andrew Hainsley, William McKellar, and Tyler Humphrey have yet to make qualifying attempts, so they may be starting at the rear of the field here as qualifying coming to a close in a quick, quick hurry. Michael Dickinson coming in with that heart reaction on the stream as well. Michael Dickinson coming in, showing the love. Uh, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess that's Papa Mike. I'm going to guess that's Papa Mike with the heart reaction. I could be wrong. It is Papa Mike. Papa Mike coming in. What is good, Papa Mike? He says, Papa Mike is in the house. Let's go, Papa Mike. And yo, what in the world are we talking about here? My boy, Skylar mother. And Pruitt! Skyler Pruitt coming in with the 500 stars. Coming with the big dono here. The big D of the day. Skyler Pruitt says, go. Ty Dickinson cheered on that Black Diamond Mafia number 67 right of Ty Dickinson with the 500 fucking big ones. Let's go, brother. I appreciate you and your generosity here with the 500 stars coming in with the like on the stream as well. Butt Crack Motorsports, one of our series sponsors, coming in with that like on the stream as well as we will get ready to pull in our drivers here to the front straightaway as our top 
drivers ready to rock and roll here as our A main feature event about to get underway here as waiting for our pole sitter to join the field here but nonetheless you see that wild man racing number 44 ride of John Ross who's going to start to the outside of Jackson cars here you go car loading in as well as it's wild man racing one and two here on the front straight away Jackson Carr, John Ross, one and two. Christian Delgado there in third in the high velocity TV, number 31, as Greg O'Berry in the Taylor Made. It's a beautiful looking Taylor Made, number 71, Ryan out there on the racetrack. Adam Pettit in the 46 machine, gonna start there in position number five. He's got the six ride, a new looking machine here, the Sparkle and Shine ride, the rock solid rigs rock solid rigs number six machine that is nathan nixon starting in that six position the 42 of leroy covalence there in position number seven he's got the columbia number 11 that is john fowler there in position number eight the 93 of zach lockett in the tennessee titans number 93 right there in ninth he's got ronald lousy in the black rifle coffee company number 15 ride to his outside the anything electric number 19 of sean jessick there in 11th has john mcneil in the boeing number 48 ride there in position number 12. the 17 ride that is michael madden in the sparkle and shine anything ec number 17 ride there in the 13th position is going to have brandon key and then nichols plumbing right to his outside and we see Daniel Doe out there in the 16th position. He's got the Jack Daniels number 35 ride of Thomas Reed down to his inside. James Smith in the 20 ride of Russell Martin there in the 18th and 19th position. Ty Dickinson rounding out our top 20 in the ultra number 67 ride. A new looking machine here for Ty Dickinson looking very fresh out there on the racetrack in the Pop of Mike promotions. Black Diamond Mafia, number 67 ride. The Sweet Tea Gang ride looking to have himself a great run here. Sponsored by Michelob Ultra. In the world. James McRae, Jeremy Vaughn, David Trailer, Keith Hackney in the 91 ride. The Grip Hackney Live Machine there in 24. And then we see Bryce Dickinson and his ENT Farms. Pop of Mike Promotions. Dirty Monkey Motorsports, number 84 ride there in the 25th position as Sean Cozier there, the hints outside. They see Lane Phillips and Joseph Atchison there in 27th and 28th. The 45 ride, the All Star, the Alpine Stars, number 45 ride of Nicholas Cody and Tyler Humphrey and the Must Love Poodles, number 94 ride, rounding out our top 30. They see Cody DeForge in the Race City Racing memorabilia. The one ride of Gary Wright, Andrew Hainsley, and William McKellar bringing off the rear of the field. As 34 drivers ready to rock and roll here in this one. It's down through quarter number three. And at our quarter number four, we end all the anticipation with our feature presentation. Quickly, Jackson Carr on to the lap pedal. Going to lead us down into quarter number one. Nice and easy out at quarter number two. And he's going to take us down to the Richmond Racing back straightaways. The Richmond Raceway back straightaway. Very beautiful racetrack here. As all the Richmond from Richmond here in attendance watching these drivers duke it out in battle here this evening as Jackson Carr leads lap number one. Christian Delgado right there quickly into that third spot as Sean Ross trying to hold off that 46 ride of Adam Bennett is the outside lane. Definitely not the spot you want to be here on these restarts. You'll want to be in that inside lane as you want to try to keep yourself down low towards that inside lane. But we're going to see this racetrack continue to go through changes here on the evening as these drivers are going to be slipping and sliding and moving around the racetrack. But some good opening laps here. A lot of drivers looking very, very strong, very fast. One of them up inside the top 10 already. It's Brandon Key up into position number nine here. That five right already up five positions, but we do see our first caution flag of the day flying quickly in this one. <sighs> spoke a little too soon, chat. We spoke a little too soon as it looks like the QT, the quick trip number one ride of Gary Wright, Joseph Atchison, Running into some issues here, down in quarter number one as, uh, oh, it looks like Joseph just gets up and, oh, yeah, that's a top break right there. Nowhere to go for Gary Wright as he's just trying to hang on to it and keep himself out of trouble. If you watch the 88 ride, the fire department, the MD machine there of Joseph Atchison down the bottom side of the racetrack right here, he's going to hit the inside corner here. 
going to go right below that yellow line. The car just flattens out, bounces itself out, and just no grip that far down the racetrack. Kicks that rear end out and around. Watches him up the racetrack. Nowhere to go here for the quick trip. One ride as he gets hard up into the outside fence, trying to avoid contact with that 88 ride and a tough break right there for two uh, tough competitors deeper in the field as... Let's see if we can jump right on board here with this number one and see what he sees here from the cockpit. Is trying to roll through the middle group here. Just unfortunately sees this 88 come right up in front of him, gets straight and goes straight up into the wall there. Some heavy contact between him and Joe Batch. And saying a tough break for all those drivers as we will get them stacked up, racked up, and ready to go back to green flag racing here in a quick few moments. We're going to get a quick word in here as I get a quick drink from our sponsors over there at Scary Strokes. Where fun meets fright, where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of black light mini golf in ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Throw your next birthday with our VIP party pack. Our party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night full of flirty fun. Our state-of-the-art arcade has the latest games with the coolest prizes. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish gang over to Scary Strokes, where every experience matters. <laughs> Welcome to Scary Strokes, where fun meets fright, where every experience runs. All righty, as we are seven laps into this race already, we are going to get them loaded up and ready to go back to green flag racing. Our first restart of the evening is Jackson Carr is going to lead us down into the Geico restart zone. We'll get ready to set these drivers loose once again. Zach Lockett, Brian Wax, Kevin O'Dell, and Mr. Glenn, Matthew Glenn, all coming in with the thumbs up on the broadcast. Slingshot Sim Racing coming in with that like and the share as we are back to Green Flag Racing here from Richmond Raceway. Jackson Carr out in front leading the way here as Christian Delgado right there in tow quickly gets down to the inside lane and holding on to position number two is now John Ross down to the inside of that 46 ride. Adam Pettit trying to hold on to position number four on the racetrack as here comes that 71 ride of Grango Berry. O'Berry already has found victory lane a couple times here in the series. He would love to make it three times here at Richmond Raceway, but he's got a lot of fast cats right there in front of him and a lot of fast cats back there behind him as Nathan Nixon in that rock solid rigs number six ride the sparkle and shine machine there in position number six for the six ride as john fowler in the 11 ride that is the denny hamlin columbia number 11 ride out there on the racetrack is john fowler looking to recreate history here looking to follow right in the footsteps of denny hamlin who won on sunday he's looking to try to pick up the win here on wednesday in what is arguably probably the, uh, you know, the, the, the front runner to compete with the NASCAR Cup Series. If I had to say so myself, I think uh, we would give, you know, Dale Jr. and Clint Boyer, Kevin Harvick, all those guys a run for their money on the uh, up in the booth here. This is a, a one-man crew up there. They got a whole team, and I can put on uh, – a pretty good show if I do say so myself as Grandpa Al coming in showing the love says kick it in 24 Cody DeForge cheered on DeForge out there on the ring track these guys keep on putting on a great show as Zebra says team DeForge in the house over there on YouTube cheering on these drivers over on the YouTube channel listen ladies and gentlemen boys and girls if you haven't already make sure you hit that like button hit that share button and hit that follow and subscribe buttons oh no issues here for the number 71, Greg O'Berry, we were talking about O'Berry and how he's already found victory lane a couple times. Well, this time he goes for a slide down through the infield 
and that will bring the caution flag out here as Greg O'Berry up inside the top five. Unfortunately, just going to get loose here. It just shows you how difficult this racetrack is. A driver already with a couple wins on the season, a very serious and experienced driver just loses that rear end right there. Coming out of quarter number four, it just washes down into the infield here, down through the grass, trying to get it rolling here once again, but... Uh, Unfortunately, when he rejoins the field there, that caution flag will be displayed. So, a tough break there for the 71, but luckily enough, that caution flag comes out and probably won't hurt him too, too much, but he is going to lose a lot of track position, and that is going to be a big thing here at Richmond Raceway as the Taylor May Velocity Pixels number 71 ride just loses it right there in quarter number four. Rear end just slides out around on him and just goes sliding down through the infield there. And a tough break there is, yo, Zebra! Zebra coming in, hitting that gosh hacking subscribe button over there. Coming a new member of the Peacemaker Sub Club, becoming one of the newest members on the YouTube channel. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's get a hashtag Zebra up in the chat right now. Hashtag and Zebra up in the chat. Let's get it. Zebra coming in with the big freaking love here in this one. Zebra, I appreciate you coming in, showing the love here and dropping that membership and becoming a brand new member over there on the YouTube channel. One of our paid subscribers here on the channel. Let's get a little hashtag going over there on YouTube as well for Zebra. Zebra coming in, showing the big love over there on the YouTube channel. He deserves all the love here in this one. It's Grandpa Al coming in with that like on the stream. Papa Mike with that share on the broadcast as well as we will get these drivers stacked up, racked up, and ready to go back to battle here in this one as... Unfortunate break for Grango Berry and an unfortunate break here for Jackson Cars. That's going to bring the rest of the field right back to his rear bumper. Mama Bear coming in with the hashtag Zebra as well. Coming in, showing the love is Nathan Smith with that heart reaction. Cheered on the NLR boys. Says, let's go NLR boys. I just got home from work. Won't be running tonight. Yeah, that's a tough break, Nathan. That's a tough break, but listen. Listen, that's where it becomes a big thing and a big deal. You've already picked up that win. You've already locked yourself into the playoffs. So at least that's a little bit of sweat off your back. You don't have to worry about it too much. You don't really have to lose too much sleep about missing a race or having something go bad with one of the races. So definitely a good break for you right there. And uh, you see these wild man racing rides currently trying to go a little three wide here at the front of the field as they're ready to rock and roll and ready for this restart as Jackson Carr out in front continuing to lead the way is Nathan Smith coming in with that heart reaction on the broadcast as well as we will get ready to set these drivers back loose in just a few more moments car Christian Delgado John Ross Adam Pettit Nathan Nixon our top five now with John Fowler there in six Leroy Koblenz Brandon Key, Sean Jessick, and Zach Lockett rounding out our top 10. Already up 10 spots, though, a little deeper back here behind these guys. The 91 Rod, the House of Speed, NLR Papa Mike Promotions, Grip Hackney Live Machine. That is Keith Hackney, who's now worked himself up 10 positions into that 14th spot on the racetrack, and he is a man on a mission here this evening trying to get that ride to the front of the field as the Aliens have landed a logo on the back of it. A little conspiracy theory there for Keith Acne. As you see, bringing with him the 67 ride of Ty Dickinson in the Michelob Ultra. Black Diamond Mafia, number 67 ride right there with him here up inside the top 16. Four time Dickinson, a very good run. Timothy Stubblefield in that Barber True Wicks ride, the Barber Company ride, right there in position number 18. Looking for a good run here as well as we are back to green flag racing the green flag quickly back out into the air here in this one is yo zebra are you kidding me brother zebra coming in with a ten dollar super chat says coffee on me tomorrow listen brother i appreciate you i appreciate that coming in with the big love here in this one coffee on him tomorrow listen we're going straight to tim hortons and getting ourselves a large double double tomorrow morning 
Matthew Glenn, Mr. Glenn coming in, says let's go tie number 67, cheering on that 67 ride. A little deeper in the field, but working himself towards the front, now up inside the top 15 here. So he's just trying to follow that 91 ride to Keith Acne, I think, through the field right now as these guys showing a lot of speed deeper in this pack. And we saw that one coming. We saw a lot of these good drivers, good tough cars, did not get good qualifying runs, and it's going to take a little while. They're going to have to use some pitch strategy possibly to their advantage to try to work themselves up through the field here. One of those being Daniel Doe as well. Already up four spots on the track. This Sparkle and Shine 14 ride now up into that 12th position as he's battling door to door here with that 91 ride. You see John McNeil right there as well, trying to work himself up inside the top 11. David Trailer back there in the 25 ride is the J.C. Newman cigar company machine right there and then you see Grango Berry who brought out that caution flag the 71 right the tailor-made machine the Liberty University ride back there in the 18th position James Smith back there then you see Lane Phillips up eight spots on the racetrack another one of those house of speed rides working himself up through the field here's the pop my promotions machine now up inside the top 20 up eight spots up nine spots right there behind him the must love poodles number 94 ride of Tyler Humphrey up into that 21st position and then you see Bryce Dickinson the EMD Farms and Papa Mike Promotions, Dirty Monkey Motorsports, number 84 ride, up into 22nd on the racetrack, up three spots here. Dean trying to work himself up inside the top 20. Russell Martin, the butt crack motorsports number 20. Ryan looking French out there on the racetrack. I was supposed to have a new logo for him up there. It was a little too big. I had to resize it. I just unfortunately did not have time to get that new logo for uh, for Russell Martin out there onto the sim. But uh, we'll see if we can get that put up there and ready for him as we see a little contact back there behind him. Oh, no, that's Ronald Lousy turned around here. The Black Rifle Coffee Company. Number 15 ride going for a loopy loop, and that will bring the caution flag back out here. Oh, top break right there as nowhere for him to go. The 15 ride looks like he's going to get a little contact. James McRae right there to his inside, trying to work to the inside of that 15 ride. And he just loses that rear end. A little damage there for McRae. Some damage as well for Cody to forge as the forge right there in that Rake City Racing memorabilia ride. There's nowhere to go here, trying to roll in behind that 15 ride. And... Just barely clips him a little bit of left front damage there for the 24. Hopefully not a whole lot of work to be done to that car, but I'm assuming he's going to take it down pit side and try to get some work done to it here. As we play this one back and see if we can get another look at it. It's just, it's just how tough this racetrack is as these tires start to fade away. These cars become an absolute handful. And fortunately, you're going to see him just up and out of a groove here and just loses that rear end coming back onto the throttle. And that's how quickly it happens. If we can take a look back at uh, the perspective here from the number 24 ride and see what he sees here as he's going to get a good look at this one. Unfortunate break there for the Rain City Racing memorabilia ride at Cody DeForge. It's just, yeah, nothing he could do. Just trying to hang on to it there. And it looked like too much damage on his ride, but we will get him stacked up, racked up, and ready to go back to green flag racing here in just a few more moments. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that follow and subscribe button as we'll get ready to go back to green flag racing here after this quick commercial break from our sponsors over at Scary Strokes. Where fun meets fright, where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of black light mini golf in ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Grow your next birthday with our VIP party pack. Our party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night full of flirty fun. Our state-of-the-art arcade has the latest games with the coolest prizes. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish gang over to Scary Strokes, where every experience matters. <laughs> Welcome to Scary Strokes, where fun meets fright, where every experience transports you to a world of fun. 
play 18 holes of blacklight mini golf in ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Throw your next birthday with our VIP party pack. Our party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night full of flirty fun. Our state-of-the-art arcade has the latest games with the coolest prizes. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish gang over to Scary Strokes, where every experience matters. <laughs> All righty, so we're going to get ready to go back to Green Flag Racing. 30 laps in 100. Laps left to go here on this restart. Yo, Frank Ranger. What's up, Frank? How are you, my dude? Frank Ranger coming in with the like on the stream says, what's up? What's up, Frank? How are you, my boy? And yes, we do have a Discord. I put that into the chat over there on YouTube for you, Zebra. Make sure you click that link and become part of the Peace Peakers, Peacekeepers Discord here as we are back to green flag racing quickly. That triple nickel ride out in front. It's Jackson Carr, who's been the reflection of perfection here all evening long as he's had that high velocity TV number 31 ride of Christian Delgado right there behind him. John Ross right there in position number three as these top three have been here all evening. My contact, hang on to it. How's he going to save it? Somehow, the 44 ride of John Ross keeps him pointing the right direction, still trying to hang on to it. That rear tire's got to be very close to being the Demolished after some hard contact. Unfortunately, here the 44 line deep in the field now back in that 14 spot has tied Dickinson reeling into his back bumper, trying to work himself up a little closer to the front. Here is John Ross getting a shove right there into corner number one from the six ride of Nathan Nixon. As Nixon gave him a shot in the shorts and almost spun that 44 line around somehow, he was able to keep it pointed in the right direction and keep on rolling. I don't know how. He did not wreck right there, but that was some seriously good driving. And in that 44, John Ross after tough contact between him and that six of Nathan Nixon. Good job keeping it green flag racing, though, and keeping himself out of trouble and keeping that 44 ride in contention. As Jackson Carr out in front, half a second advantage now between himself and the 31 of Christian Delgado. Then about a half second back, you see that six ride of Nathan Nixon. And now some new players up inside the top five. John Fowler in that number 11 ride the Columbia. Denny Hamlin machine that pop of Mike Promotions. Dirty Monkey Motorsports number 11 ride the Scary Strokes ride up into position number four and looking for more here as he's worked himself up four spots into that fourth position. Now looking to try to work himself into victory lane just like Denny Hamlin in the 11 ride did on Sunday. Right there behind him, the one driver working himself up through the field here. That Nichols Plumbing number five ride. A Brandon Key up nine spots here early in this race. He's got that five ride up into position number five. Adam Pettit, Michael Madden, Sean Jessick, Frank O'Berry, and now Keith Hackney, who's up 14 spots, finds himself away up inside the top 10. So Frank O'Berry, Keith Hackney looking very, very strong here. Obviously, the 91 ride working himself up inside the top 10. You see John McNeil right there as well, having himself a good run in the 71 ride. Also rebounding after spinning out, going to the rear of the field early in this race. Frank O'Berry finds himself back up inside the top 10 as we do see the caution flag fly here. Looks like Tyler Humphrey running into some issues here. The Must Love Poodles, number 94 ride, having some issues on the racetrack. We'll take a quick look at it. See what happens here is the 94. Just, oh, it looks like for some reason, I don't know what happened there. Just the 54 right of Lane Phillips. The car just goes dead straight. Just does not turn here into corner number three. Shoots it down low. Then just looks like the car just goes dead straight. Does not turn at all to the left here. And unfortunately, he washes up into the side of that 94 machine. And the Muscle Off Poodles ride.
Goes for a loop-de-loop -loop here to bring out our caution flag. We'll take a look and see if anyone else gets collected here. As he gets stopped up there on the high side of the racetrack. A good job holding his foot on that brake pedal, making sure he doesn't come down into oncoming traffic, especially into that driver's side door, as that one would have hurt that uh, 94 ride pretty badly, getting a big smack into that driver's side door panel. As we do see some drivers headed down pit side here, so... Interesting to see some drivers coming down pit lane early on in this race. You see Keith Hackney, the 25 ride right there as well. That is the J.C. Newman Cigar Company, number 25 ride. Timothy Subblefield down pit side as well. We see a lot of these drivers roll back out onto the racetrack. Keith Hackney looks to be the first driver with fresh tires back out there onto the speedway. Currently in that 22nd position now for that 91 ride. David Trailer. Thomas Reed, Nicholas Cody, Tom, uh, T Timothy Stubblefield, Andrew Hainsley, all rolling back out onto the racetrack. Here comes Russell Martin, Tyler Humphrey, Lane Phillips, Ty Dickinson. On a lousy Jeremy Vaughn, bringing up the rear of the field here. Unfortunately, Vaughn looked like he lost connection there, and it's quite a few laps down here in a beautiful looking American flag number two ride for the House of Speed Papa Mike Promotions crew as the Grip Hackney Live ride looking very nice out there on the racetrack unfortunately having some connection issues early in the race finds himself deeper in the field whom do I speak to uh, about some sponsorship advertising? Uh, Frank, my boy, you can shoot me a message at uh, any point in time, and uh, we can definitely get you pointed either in the right direction for certain series or through myself as uh, I have my own personal sponsors that I can show throughout all of the broadcasts or I also have you know league sponsors as well if you want to become a league sponsor for a certain league and have your broadcast or have your commercial or your sponsorship advertising through one league itself or if you want to go through all of the leagues that are here on Peacemaker Gaming then obviously you can go through myself but you can go through the league as well and uh, I can get you pointed in the right direction just shoot me a message and uh, I should be able to get back to you later on tonight once the uh, broadcast comes to a close. So we'll get ready to go back to green flag racing here as scary strokes sounds so fun yeah it sounds sus but uh, fun it totally does it totally does but yeah for certain i don't know it, it, it'd be a long hike for me that's uh that's a good day drive just right there i think about nine hours ten hours for for me to get there and uh you know it's it's a long ways away but it, it looks very tempting trust me scary strokes looks like a, a very fun time i'm not gonna lie i don't know i kind of get five nights at Freddy's vibes sometimes from it but uh i'm not gonna lie it looks like a ton of fun and i'm sure it's a lot of fun man the uh that the, the shooter arcade would be amazing to do obviously I, i'm a golfer i love golf come this summer up here in canada you guys are gonna get a lot of golf content over on the youtube channel from uh vlogs and everything else that we want to start putting out and then uh, you know, some racing stuff as well, real life racing and everything else. So uh, definitely some cool things to come here on the YouTube channel. Going to continue to keep on grinding and keep on making content, making cool things and cool videos and hoping to maybe grow to, uh, you know, you know, get bigger fans and everything else and being able to do some hide and seek videos and kind of recreate maybe some of what, uh, you know, Mr. Beast or what uh, the Sidemen have done and uh you know my own experience here up in canada and uh create some cool videos as we are back to green flag racing jackson car quickly back onto the loud pedal here as he leads us down the back straight away continuing to be the reflection of perfection he's been untouchable here this evening as delgado right there in second nathan nixon there in third now brandon key taking a good look down low here getting around john fowler but fowler gonna cross him back over as they battle here for that fourth and fifth position on the racetrack here comes adam pettit and michael madden as madden has worked himself now up seven spots on the racetrack as well the 17 ride has been working himself slowly but surely closer and closer to the front of the field he's trying to bring his anything electric anything ec teammates here the 46 of sean jessick and adam pettit right there with them greg goberry up inside the top 10 here is oh contact around goes brandon key Around goes the 46 of Adam Pettit, and we see the caution flag come back out. John Fowler collected in this one as well. Oh, man, tough break for John Fowler. He's had probably the worst luck here in this series. 
for that number 11, Ryan. Let's take a look back and see what happens. It looks like Brandon Key just going to try to cross them back over here as these two continue to battle tough. See Fowler slides back up in front of him. The five ride going to try to cross back down low and... John Fowler's going to send it in down low in front of him. He was clear. Unfortunately, Key just got in there a little bit too deep, got right to his back bumper, and just against the 11 ride, super loose, can't stay off of him, and then watches him up the racetrack. Nowhere to go there for the 46 ride of Pennant as he gets hard up into the outside wall, hard into the 11 ride as the fine machine with minimal damage on that ride as he gets a good look looking backwards at the rest of the field there but trying to hang on to it is my boy Alex Dean whiskey and grit coming in showing the love with the like on the stream how are you Alex how are you my dude how are you hopefully you're having yourself a wonderful day how are the uh, how, how are the kick streams going there you go you see that contact right there so if we play this back just a little bit you're gonna see the contact out of the uh Five right into the back bumper of the 11 right here. Right there, you can see that rear end just get knocks loose. The 11 right trying to recorrect it, trying to keep it pointing in the right direction. Unfortunately, the 5 right stays on him, gets him up into the outside fence, into the 46, and then he goes around himself here. And this is always a scary sight, seeing all these drivers go by him. And then you take a look, you see all these drivers coming right at you, head on towards you here, just hoping that each and every one of them can find that brake pedal, can find a lane to get around you without the contact and without ending your night here completely. It's uh, definitely a mistake out of the five right there after having a strong run and a strong showing as he rolls back out onto the racetrack, unfortunately, deep in the field. See John Fowler rolling back out there as well, but does look like the toe link broken in this 11 ride. <coughs> that thing's rolling a little cockeyed right now, unfortunately, for Mr. Fowler as it looks like that left rear tire is just absolutely bent the wrong direction here. We'll take a good look at it right here as that wheel is... Uh, Pointed about 10 degrees to the right when it's supposed to be not pointed that direction. It is definitely not pointed straight. That is for certain. And that is a very tough break right there for John Fowler. As that may cost him more time down pit lane and more work to be done here on that 11 ride. And now on the damage motor vehicle clock, the DVP, he's going to be uh, he's gonna be looking to try to get it back out there and hopefully in one piece as... Tough break for John Fowler. Tough break for a few of our other competitors that were collected in that one. Is my boy Skyler Bruitt coming back in, showing the love again. Says, hey, yo. Hey, yo, he says, coming in with that 96-star dono. Coming in, showing the big love. As Frank says, uh, I can make awards for leagues. Let's go. Making some awards for leagues. That's, a, that's what's up right there. Uh, what's the name in Discord, uh, buddy? I'll shoot you a message. Yeah, for certain. For certain. Let me grab... Uh, I should have that Discord link already saved in here. Let me take a look. There you go. We'll throw that over onto the Facebook channel as well. There is the Discord link. And uh, same as on here. You should be able to find me. I should be towards the top of the list as owner. But uh, you should be able to find me on there as Peacemaker. And uh, you should be able to shoot me a message over there on the uh, Discord channel as well. Wicked far drive from me, uh, Boston, Massachusetts here. Yeah, so, yeah, that's definitely a bit of a hike. That's definitely a bit of a run right there as, yo, what's good? Doug Roth, my boy Doug coming in, showing the love over there on YouTube as well. Says, go Team Dirty Monkey. Great job as always, Peacemaker. I appreciate you, Doug, coming in, showing the love here. We miss you out there on the racetrack, my dude. We miss you out there on the racetrack. But uh, we, we can't wait to see you back out there in just a little bit. As ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, don't forget, make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream, hit that share, hit that follow, and hit that subscribe button over there on YouTube, and make sure you hit that like button there as well. We currently have 20 viewers over there on the YouTube stream. We only have five likes on the stream. We should have at least 20 reactions on the broadcast, so make sure you hit that like button. as cautions, free cautions, and we are right back to the yellow flag here in this one as more contact, more carnage down through quarter number one and two here at Richmond Raceway. As the Richmond North, the Richmond gonna get richer here from all of the automotive parts that they're gonna be able to sell here this evening as a bunch of drivers get collected here in this one. I don't even know where we start here. Looks like Sean Cozier may be the best place to start for this one as the 97 ride, the anything electric machine up on the high side here. Looks like he's going to send it in. Oh, they're already turned around here. That's the 20 ride. Let's see if we can play this back. That's the 20 ride of Russell Martin.
having some issues here. The Buck Crack Motorsports Machine. He's going to send it in down low. Just looks like he just gets a bad angle at it. Goes down onto the apron. The rear end kicks out and around. Goes up into the Sonic Graphic Designs 29 ride of Andrew Hainsley. The Hainsley Motorsports Camaro. Heavy damage. Adam Pettit getting into it again. Sean Cozier nowhere to go with some heavy damage there as well. And then the two ride of Jeremy Vaughn getting collected. The 94. Tyler Humphrey also in there. That's a tough one right there. A bunch of good drivers all getting collected here. Is See if we can jump right on board with Jeremy Vaughn. Is Vaughn definitely not his night tonight. Had some internet issues early and then being collected here in this one. Just trying to avoid them all. Luckily enough, very minimal contact there with the 97 ride. But... And that's how quickly things can happen here at the racetrack as we will take another look at it and just see how quickly things happen here at Richmond Raceway and just nowhere to go for 94, the 29, the 97, the two. All these drivers getting some good damage there in that one and fortunate break there for a lot of these drivers. As we'll get them stacked up, racked up, and ready to go back to Green Flag Racing here. We'll reply to a couple uh, messages here. Zebra says, uh, do I get a league race? Uh, but I, I'd be two lap dogs down already. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Th these guys are good, man. I'm telling you, these guys are good. Roman coming in says, can you show what happened to uh, John Ross, please? That is going to take me a while to find it, but I don't know if I can find it. That was a long time ago. And we saw John Ross go for that spin. I would have to know exactly what lap he was able to save that. Because I'm not sure if I'd be able to find it exactly when it happened. That'd be a little too tough for me in this one. Unfortunately, I don't have a lap counter of when that happened, when the contact was made. But uh, we can definitely try to find that, make a, a reel or something out of it for uh, for later, possibly. But yeah, Scary Strokes, definitely a bit of a hike for me, but uh, definitely one place I do plan on checking out here when I do some traveling throughout the summertime. We may have to make our way down and uh, check out Scary Strokes and everything they have to offer. And if you guys are interested as well, make sure you guys check out Scary Strokes as well as we're going to get a quick little commercial in right here and we'll get ready to go back to Green Flag Racing in just a few more moments. When we get back, we're going to crank it up. Every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of black light mini golf in ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Throw your next birthday with our VIP party pack. All the party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night full of flirty fun. Our state-of-the-art arcade has the latest games with the coolest prizes. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish game over to Scary Strokes, where every experience matters. <laughs> All righty, as we are back to Green Flag Racing here in this one. Lap number 58 up on the board here is Jackson Carr. Leads the way. Carr out in front is contact sliding. Daniel Doe, hang on to it. Right in front of the field. Heavy contact for the 29 of Andrew Hainsley. Heavy contact for the 15 ride of Ronald Lousy. And we get another caution flag. Is back to back to back caution flags here in this one. Is man, oh man, oh man. A tough break right there for Daniel Doe. Coming out of quarter number two, we will take a look at it and see what happened here to this 14 ride. Is rolling up just outside the top 10 here. Down on the bottom side of the racetrack, and just looks like he may lose the rear end just ever so slightly coming off the corner. Rear end just fades away from them, then slides back up the racetrack, trying to correct it. You see the five right up. Brandy Key trying to avoid him there. Unfortunately, man, what a run right there for the uh, number one right up. Gary Wright. Wright was able to find a hole through that somehow or another as he was a lot deeper in the field behind this. And... Right, was able to find a gap and be able to work himself through that somehow or another. Take a look here on board with this one machine as he comes down through corner number one and at a corner number two here. 
He's going to come in, and he's going to see the lights come on, but he doesn't know what's happening here. Then all of a sudden, there's the 14. There's another couple cars parked right in front of him. He finds a hole and just gets right on through that. So a good piece of driving right there out of the uh, – one machine of Gary Wright to avoid any additional contact. We'll take a look here at Daniel Doe and see what he sees off of corner number two here is just going to lose that rear end. There you go, just lose it, trying to correct it. Unfortunately, overcorrects and then slides back up the racetrack and then there's that contact coming. There you go, Andrew Ainsley into him there and pretty good contact there for both those drivers but looks like they'll keep on rolling out there no one done for the evening yet but uh, a lot of drivers down pit side getting work done trying to get some repairs done to their cars it's my boy Skyler Pruitt says uh peace check your uh check your FB uh message you some eye candy I did see that brother that is some very very sexy eye candy right there a beautiful look at your dirt street stock man that is a very very slick very fast looking ride as uh, it was lap 47, lap 47. Okay, uh, Scary Strokes Vlog, yeah, that would be, that's exactly what we want to try to do. That's exactly what we want to try to work on and start vlogging, doing stuff like that. So we want to get golf vlogs in there. We want to get days out of the racetrack in there. So maybe some mini golf, you know, maybe just some exploring places up here in Canada to show off what Canada has to offer. And then a bunch of other stuff as well, you know, and, and if it comes down to uh, a good trip down through the U.S., then obviously, yeah, hitting up Scary Strokes, getting a couple of vlogs in there, maybe doing like a first time experience of Scary Strokes and then maybe how long does it take to build up so many points to get like a top prize or something? I mean, I have to try to set that up with Doug trying to get, uh, so I don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get a top prize, but to see how much you would technically have to spend to try to get that top prize would be a, a kind of a cool, uh, cool little vlog thing to do as well. And uh, everything else look international. Yeah, definitely look international. Yeah, for certain, for certain. As uh, we'll take a look here. Lap 47. That's going to take me a little ways to try to find that, but let me see here. Let me see if we can go back quite a ways. Okay, we're going to go all the way back here. We're going to find Doug Roth right there beside this car, but unfortunately for John Roth, sorry, John Roth, not Doug Roth. Doug Roth is not in the field. Uh, what lap is this? This is lap two, so we are way ahead of the game here. He said lap 47. Oh, God. Yeah, his spin was definitely not on lap 47. This is, uh, this is already way past it here. He's already deep in the field for the 44 ride, unfortunately. Unless if something else happens back here behind here that we never saw, possibly under caution flag or, or one of the other things. I'm not sure what may have happened or transpired. Just looks like everyone's rolling out there, but that's definitely before he had his issues. Might be it right here. Yeah, nope. Next lap, I think, probably. Next lap right here is the contact. And the drift and the save out of the 44 run that we saw early in this race. I'm going to play this back just a little bit here. Get another look at this one. As that was a, a very good save out of this 44 ride of John Ross. So there's the contact, the drift, and the save here right in front of the field as he was in that third position at the time. And... Good piece of drive in there, end of that 44 ride to keep it going in the right direction as we will get these drivers stacked up, racked up, and ready to go back to green flag racing here in just a little bit, as I do believe. We did see a quick green flag and a quick caution flag once again here. As we will take another look at it as we did see another quick caution flank here on the restart. Looks like Joseph Atchison in the one ride of Gary Wright going to come together. Atchison going to go for a loop-de-loop -loop here right in front of the flank stand. And that will bring the caution flank right back out. A tough break and a tough race so far for the 88 machine. But he's got that fire department number 88 ride back pointed in the right direction. And you'll see if he can get that dirty month motorsports ride up towards the front of the field as... 
get ready to go back to green flag racing here in a, just a little bit. Is Oh, he said looked intentional. It, I don't know if it looked intentional. I think it was just good hard racing. Unfortunately, I think the six ride descended in there a little bit too deep. The 44 maybe checked up a little sooner than what the six ride was anticipating there when that contact was made. Nonetheless, they were both able to keep their cars pointed in the right direction and keep on racing. Didn't really take him out, but uh, definitely not what John Ross wanted to have to deal with on the evening. And unfortunately, we do see the 44 ride deep in the field here. I'm not sure what's happened to him after that as he's got collected in a couple of things out there on the racetrack and finds himself quite a few laps down now out there on the track. But luckily enough for him, some drivers have had some issues and a bunch of them have uh, ran into uh, unfortunate breaks out there on the racetrack. Some heavy, heavy damage as my boy Sean Cozier coming in says the 97 is done. Get it, uh, get it rest of uh, revved uh, racing. Get it rest of revved racing. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was a tough break right there. That was a tough break for you, unfortunately, for, uh, for that uh, poor number 97 ride. There's nowhere to go for you there in that one. And unfortunately, hard up into that outside fence. Some pretty hard contact. And that's yeah, a tough break. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll miss you out there on the racetrack, Sean. That's for certain. We'll miss you out there on the track. Uh, that's okay. It wasn't uh, that one. Uh, he's been in the pit since uh, the incident I'm talking about. Uh, thank you for trying. Yeah, unfortunately, I can only see caution flags and when crashes and stuff happen. And if it's not on green flag or if it's nothing that brings out a caution flag, I can't really see the list of it. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, Cody just gave you a shout out. Let's go. Let's go, my boy Cody to Forge. The Race City Racing memorabilia right up inside the top 20. Now looks like he's got that left front repaired and has that 24 pointed back in the right direction. Yeah, not quite repaired, but he's still rolling pretty good out there on the track. He's got John Fowler right there with him as John still has. Quite a bit of damage to that 11 ride. You see that left rear still pointed in the wrong direction. I'm not sure if John knows it or not, but uh, uh, I'm sure he can feel it. That, that, that car does not handle very well as that left rear is, is pointed very, very caca, and it is definitely towed out quite a bit, and it's got to be hell to drive that ride if they're on the racetrack. But nonetheless, he's making it work. Still just hanging on there in the inside of the top 20 as we are back to green flag racing. No, we're not. We're going to wait one more lap here. One more lap as we get them lined up and ready to go back to battle here this evening as, uh, whew, man, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a ton of fun. These guys are going to put on one heck of a show for us. Yeah, what's good? Justin told my boy Justin coming in, showing the love. Puking face. Come on now. Come on now. It's racing, racing's racing, Justin. Racing's racing. Michael Dickinson, the END Farms, and Michael Dickinson coming in, showing the love. How are you, brother Dickinson? Coming in, smashing that heart reaction as Grandpa Al says, "Let's go, Cody and Mr. Fowler." Cheering on Mr. Fowler and Cody DeForge out there on the racetrack, both looking to have some good runs here in this one. Don't forget about visiting Iowa. Listen, Bubble Mike, I will never forget about visiting Iowa. Don't you worry about that. I'll be headed down there. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'll be headed down there. We'll be we'll be meeting up. We'll be hanging out. We'll be doing some cool stuff. You'll be taking me to some of the you know some of the strip clubs down there as we are going to see the caution flying quickly come right back out. Here is the green flag was displayed. Unfortunately, David Trailer not gonna get the restart he was hoping for here as he's gonna get right into the rear end of the 42, then up into the outside fence and heavy damage here. For that 25 ride, luckily enough, everyone else able to avoid him there and not get more drivers collected in this one. As that's a tough break right there. As he just gets onto the loud pedal here, unfortunately gets a good run, and it looks like the 42 misses a shift, and the 25 ride doesn't realize that hard into the back bumper. The Wildman Racing 42, Leroy Koblenz, and up into the outside fence there for the J.C. Newman Cigar Company, number 25 ride, and heavy damage there for him. You see a good job of the 10 ride of Smith and DeForge being able to get around him there. Here comes Atchison and everybody else able to split that number 25 ride and keep from getting into it and making this a bigger wreck and a bigger caution than what we uh, needed there on the restart as... Definitely not what he was hoping for right there, and definitely not the restart he was hoping for either, as that's a top hit right there for that 25 right as We will get him stacked up, racked up, and ready to go back to green flag racing here in just a few 
more moments as these drivers will get loaded into the sim and ready to rock and roll once again here from the beautiful Richmond Raceway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that follow and subscribe button. It's Jackson Carr. Christian Delgado, Sean Jessick, Michael Madden, and Nathan Nixon will bring us back to the green flag here in just a few more moments. As we're going to be right back after these moments as Slinging Dirt Series. Kazzy, my boy Kazzy, coming in, smashing that subscribe button over there on the YouTube channel. Jasper coming in with that follow over on Facebook as well. Jasper, welcome to the Peacemaker family. And Slinging Dirt Series coming in, hitting that subscribe button over there on YouTube. Welcome to the Peacemaker fam as we are going to be right back after this message from Scary Strokes. Where fun meets fright. Where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of black light mini golf in ancient Egypt, a haunted house and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Throw your next birthday with our VIP party pack. Our party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night full of flirty fun. Our state-of-the-art arcade has the latest games with the coolest prizes. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish gang over to Scary Strokes, where every experience matters. <laughs> And gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back to green flag racing. The triple nickel ride. The boy with the reflection of perfection here this evening. The 55 ride, the 555 ride out in front, continuing to lead the way here. Jackson Gar has led every lap so far this evening, but he finally sees a new driver there in his rear view mirror as the 19 of Sean Jessick up into position number two. Christian Delgado there in third with Nathan Nixon and Greg O'Berry back up inside the top five. We saw O'Berry go down through the infield and bring out a caution flag early in this race, he's battled back now up inside the top five, looking for a great run here out of O'Berry in that Taylor made at number 71. As the Liberty University ride there in the fifth position, he's got Michael Madden, Zach Lockett in the Tennessee Titans number 93 ride. Here comes Keith Hackney and James McRae, both up inside the top 10 here. Once again, it's the Popeyes number seven in the Grip Hackney Papa Mike Promotions out to speed and LR number 91 ride there inside the top 10. And Nicholas Cody, the Alpine Stars and number 45 ride. They're rounding out our top 10 as cautions of breeding cautions here once again in this one. We'll take a look back and see what brings out the caution flag. I'm not sure what this caution flag was actually for. I haven't gotten any indicators on what might have brought this caution flag out. We see David Trailer out there. There you go, the five ride. Brandon Key looked like he was having some issues down the back straightaway. Still some pretty heavy damage on this five machine. As we get another look at it here, as it's like him and John Fowler possibly coming together as Pro Engines, Nichols Plumbing, number five ride. Looked very fast early in this race, but then that 11 ride of John Fowler with that damage. As you see the contact being made, but you see that 11 ride. That left rear tire pointed in the wrong direction, making this car a very big handful to hang on to it. And the 11 rider unfortunately loses it there at a quarter number two. Goes over the nose there of the Nichols Plumbing. WR1 and number five ride sends him down into the 
infield wall there. Some heavy contact, heavy damage there for Brandon Key. And that's a tough break for that number five ride. Some pretty heavy contact, some pretty heavy damage there for that five machine. And unfortunately, that will put him deep in the field once again as we will get these drivers stacked up, racked up, and ready to go back. The green flag racing is out in front all evening long. It's been this triple nickel ride, the wild man racing machine of Jackson Carr. His car has led every single lap so far here this evening. Does he hang on to it? Can he find himself a way to victory lane and be the reflection of perfection here all evening long? Or does he slide backwards and give up this race lead? Yo, Joycelyn Belch, how are you, Joycelyn? Joycelyn coming in, showing the love with the heart reaction. Says, holy cow, you're amazing. I appreciate you, Joycelyn, coming in, showing the love here in this one. I appreciate you, my girl. Mama Bear coming in with the exclamation mark followage with the 721 days of being a follower over there on the Facebook channel. Absolutely insane, Mama Bear. Absolutely insane. 721 days. It feels like it's been a lifetime. That is for certain. 721 days doesn't seem that long, but uh, it feels like we've been family forever feels like we've been family right from the get-go of the life of Aaron Woods that is for certain all righty as we'll get these drivers stacked up racked up and are ready to go back to green flag racing we're going to jump into a peacemaker gaming crank it up here for this restart as we will crank up that volume ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you're going to crank up that volume and cheer on your favorite driver but what I need you guys to do right now is absolutely free to do it helps the stream out a ton I need y'all to hit the like button on the broadcast hit the share hit that follow or subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube and make sure you jump up into the comment section drop a couple quick comments for us let us know who you want to see up in in victory lane here this evening we currently have 27 viewers over there on youtube and only seven likes on the stream we should be able to have 20 likes on this broadcast before we go back to green flag racing so hit the like button hit the share hit that follow and subscribe as we're gonna get ready to go back to green flag racing out in front, Jackson Carr sees the lights turned off. The official I racing pace car. We're gonna jump right on board though, a little farther back as we see the number 91 ride of Keith Hackney in that eighth position. We're gonna jump on board here with Keith Hackney and go through the gears here as we start our Peacemaker game and crank it up. here the curse continues we always seem to get that caution flag during our crank it up as we will take a look back and see what happens here is Thomas Reed gonna go for a spill out at quarter number two but we did see some contact with the outside wall in front of him here and unfortunately though this 35 right gonna get into the back end of the 45 right there and they get tied together Lane Phillips right there in the middle of it but around goes that 35 right the Jack Daniels machine of Reed Going to go for a quick loop-de-loop, -loop, get that car pointed back in the right direction. And he's on truck in here, but unfortunately we did see James McRae. Looks like McRae got up into the outside fence here. 
knocked down the front straight away, but looks like maybe down in corner number one and two. He gets up into the wall here, and that's what really starts all this happening. And unfortunately, as he slides through the corner there, actually doesn't even get into the wall, but pretty good damage there to his ride as definitely struggling, takes that car down pit side, and it's up break there for not only him, but also Thomas Reed as he goes around as Sean Coates here cheering on the sparkle and shine in anything electric, anything EC cars, says let's get it, let's get it for the anything electric rides in the sparkle and shine machines out there on the racetrack as another quick caution flag means that we'll get these drivers loaded back up and ready to go back to battle here once again in just a few more moments as it kind of ruined our crank it up session. We'll see if we can get a quick little look at our Scary Strokes commercial once again. As always like to support and show off Scary Strokes as they're always coming in and showing the love here and being a part of the Slingshot Sim Racing Series. And a huge shout out to all of our other sponsors as well. Dirty Monkey Motorsports, Papa Mike Promotions, Buck Crack Motorsports, uh, Race City Racing Memorabilia is our name sponsor, our main sponsor here of the series. And obviously, the always beautiful Scary Strokes coming on board as well as my boy John Fowler coming in with the like on the stream. Uh, the, the hand over the face, uh, un unfortunate break there for you, John. Unfortunate uh, luck once again for Mr. Fowler. As Pop of Mike coming in with the exclamation mark, follow which with the 720 days of being a part of the Peacemaker family. 720 days, Pop of Mike. My gosh, what is that? That's that's got to be two years, right? Like that's got to be two years, something like that. What's what's 365 times two? I guess that'd be 730. So getting close to two years. Very, very close to it. Grandpa Al says 24 to the front. He's slowly but surely getting there, Grandpa Al. That is for certain. That uh, 24 ride of Cody DeForge in the Race City Race Memorabilia ride. Continue to work himself to the front of the field as Seaver says, how many cautions are we up to? Uh, that's a tough one for me to answer right there. As I'm not 100% sure, it is more than four. I can tell you that much. We Definitely more than four. Caleb Kerfman coming in with that subscribe over there on YouTube. Caleb, welcome to the Peacemaker family. Welcome to the Peacemaker crew. Chris Nigilio coming in with that follow as well over on Facebook. Coming in, smash that follow button, becoming a part of the Peacemaker family over on the Facebook channel. As we're going to get ready to go back to Green Flag Racing here, we're going to actually miss out on our Scary Strokes commercial this time through, but we will get ready to go back to Green Flag Racing here as out in front, it's still that wild man racing ride, the number 555, the triple nickel of Jackson Carr. The reflection of perfection here this evening as he's kept that triple nickel ride out in front for every single lap. Up to this point, possibly, is now the rest of the field right there on his back bumper, looking for a way to get up and around him here as he see a little damage there on the front end of that 31 ride. Definitely looks like he has gotten hard into the back end of that triple nickel ride and given himself a little bit of front end damage, but we got a lot of fast cats back here behind our race leader, looking to try to knock him off that tough spot as lap number 94 of 130 up onto the board here. So this one coming to a close in a quick, quick hurry. Jackson Carr out in front. Christian Delgado there in second. Sean Jessick back to third here as here comes Grango Berry and Michael Madden right there rounding out our top five. And Keith Hackney up 18 spots. Contact up into the wall goes Keith Hackney. Oh no. Hard contact there for Hackney as he gets up into the outside fence. I haven't seen a caution flag yet for it. No caution flag for it here. We're going to have to try to play this one back and see if we can get another look at it. And what happened here between Keith Hackney, and I do believe that's the six ride. Unfortunately, going to get in there a little bit too deep here. So Hackney sends it in. Just looks like he loses it there. Gets very, very loose. The six ride trying to get onto the binders back behind him, trying to stay out of them. Unfortunately, can't get onto the binders quick enough here. Unfortunately, slides in with all that momentum, gets into the back end of the 91 ride. They both slide up hard into the outside fence. The 91 ride of Keith Hackney takes his car right off the racetrack as we keep on trucking out here. These drivers keep on putting on a show for us. Is out in front, Jackson Carr continuing to lead the way here. 
So Carr out in front, showing him how to get it done as he's opened up a second and a half lead now between himself and Sean Jessick as Jessick up into position number two. Christian Delgado there in third with Franco Berry now into position number four. Zach Lockett there in that fifth position. So the Tennessee Titans number 93 ride up inside the top five now is Nicholas Cody up 23 positions battling here for position number six is Michael Madden in the sparkle and shine. Anything EC right down to his inside. The 46 of Adam Pettit right there with him. Lane Phillips up inside the top 10 here as well as the has the speed bump of my promotions in number 54 ride up into position number nine and rounding out our top 10. The Race City Racing memorabilia, the RC MC machine, MCRM ride, sorry, the RCRM ride of Cody DeForge up inside the top 10 now as he's up 21 positions. Started back in the 31st spot, now finds himself up inside the top 10. James Smith right there with them. Brandon Keyes had a couple issues out there on the racetrack. Now up into 12th as here you go. You see the 84 ride, the E&D Farms, Papa Mike Promotions, Dirty Monkey Motorsports ride. Uh, Bryce Dickinson up in 13th here as the 44 ride. Unfortunately, a couple laps down for John Ross, working himself around him. Leroy Koblenz there in 14th with Thomas Reed rounding out our top 15. John McNeil there in the 16th position with Tyler Humphrey in the Muscle Up Poodles. Number 94 ride there in 17th. The 14 ride of Daniel Doe, unfortunately, a couple laps down here. It's Russell Martin is there in the 18th position as the Butt Crack Motorsports ride there in the 18th spot. The Michelob Ultra E&D Farms, Pop Mike Promotions, Black Diamond Mafia number 67 ride of time. Dickinson back here in the 19th position, having a good run here. Just outside, just inside the top 20 is Gary Wright in the Quick Trick number one ride, going to round out our top 20. Joseph Atchison, Andrew Hainsley, Nathan Nixon, who's down pit side. Keith Hackney down pit side. David Trailer going to round out our top 25 with Daniel Doe back in 26. Ronald Lousy there in 27. James McRae off the track in the 28th position. Jeremy Vaughn up into 29th with Timothy Stubblefield, John Ross, John Fowler, Sean Cozier, and William McKellar rounding out our field as we do see the caution flag coming back out in this one as it looks like John McNeil, James Smith, and John Ross all going to get collected here in this one. Oh, we're playing a little too quick here. Is 48 Ryan will keep a click, uh, a quick eye on him here. Is oh, there's contact in front of him. James Smith already turned around here. Well, tough break for James Smith as we will play it back. See if we can get a good look at what happened here to the 10 ride of James Smith as he goes for a loop de loop here. Let's see if we can find him here on the racetrack and see if we can get a good look at what may have happened here to the Hooters number 10 machine. Oh, it, was, it looks like he loses it there. We saw the same thing happen to the 71 ride of Grango Berry early in the race. Coming off corner number four, just loses the rear end, washes down the racetrack, and then trying to keep it on the track and out of the grass here. Unfortunately, once they hit that grass, is like racing on marbles or racing on ice. It just shoots back up the racetrack right into John Ross. Nowhere to go there for John Ross as he gets hard into the side of the 10 ride of Smith and then here comes the 48 ride trying to avoid him as well trying to decide whether to go high side bottom side unfortunately tries the high side nowhere to go as he drives in there gets a big piece of him that's a tough break for the Boeing 48 ride a tough break for the Dirty Monkey Motorsports Toyota of Smith and a tough break again for John Ross getting collected in another big hit right there for that uh, 44 ride as we'll take another look back at it and see what happened here is <laughs> Just a tough break here, a tough bracing incident out there on the racetrack is yeah, it's down through the grass, washes off the racetrack hard into John Ross, nowhere for him to go, and then McNeil just trying to figure out a lane to go, hoping the 10 ride was going to wash down the racetrack, unfortunately washed back up to the high side, and it's a good piece of them there, some pretty heavy damage on all those drivers, as some tough breaks, some tough breaks for certain for a lot of these drivers here this evening. Coming a little bit more of a just trying to run out the clock here. And unfortunately for Jackson Carr, our race leader, he has had to come down pit side here. So Jackson Carr coming down pit side, takes that triple nickel line from the point all the way back down to the 14th position here. 
Now we're going to have to see if he can work himself up through traffic as Michael Madden right there with him. Bryce Dickinson, Andrew Hainsley all down pit side as well. The one ride of Gary Wright, Christian Delgado, Cody DeForge all coming down pit side, getting some service done to their rides as the rest of the field staying out a little bit longer here. Maybe they got enough in the tank to get to the end. Maybe they don't. Who knows? We're going to find out, though, in a quick, quick hurry as we're going to get ready to go back to green flag racing here as Sean Jessick consumes that race lead. We're going to be right back here after this message from our sponsor, the beautiful people over at Scary Strokes. Strokes fun means right, where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of black light mini golf in ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Throw your next birthday with our VIP party pack. Our party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night for the flirty bar. Our state of the art arcade has the latest games with a cool surprise. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish gang over to Scary Strokes. With a big spirit. <laughs> All righty, as we're going to get ready to go back to Green Flag Racing. Out in front, the 19 rider, Sean Jessick, going to see that green flag fly, and we are back to battle here at Richmond Raceway with only 21 more laps left to go. Sean Jessick out in front, Grango Berry up into second here. He's looking for his third win of the series as the caution flag going to come right back out here in this one as it looks like Russell Martin in the Buck Crack Motorsports number 20 ride going to run into some issues down here in corner number one. And, oh, no, Jackson Carr collected in this one as well. We're going to have to play this one back and see what happened here. It's Russell Martin, Jackson Carr, both getting collected, getting a piece of this one. And it looks like Carr just a big run up on the high side, gets into the back end of the 20 ride. And then Ty Dickinson getting collected in that as well. The Sweet Tea Gang, Michelob Ultra, Pump of Mike Promotions, Black Diamond Mafia ride down low. Just looks like he's going to get a little loose here. Coming down through the inside of that triple nickel ride. He gets loose, unfortunately washes up, gets a little piece of the 20 machine here in a second right there. Just loses the front end, washes into the back end of the 20 ride, which spins the 20 up into the outside fence, the triple nickel ride, getting collected in that one as well. Heavy rear end damage there for that 67 ride, but heavy damage for the 20 of Russell Martin. Heavy damage for what was our race leader, the triple nickel ride before that last caution flag in pits. A pit stop there for that triple nickel machine, and that may be the end of this evening. And that's a tough break right there for Jackson Carr. A tough break for Russell Martin and Ty Dickinson as well out there on the racetrack as we will get them stacked up, racked up, and ready to go back to green flag racing in just a little bit as Ty says, nothing I could do there, yikes. Yeah, unfortunate break, just unfortunate timing for uh, everyone that got collected in that one. John Fowler says, can I have any luck come my way, please? John, my boy, we're wishing all the luck to you, brother. Listen, we want to see you get a good run and have a good finish out there on the racetrack. Just unfortunately, zero luck for you here. Definitely the hard luck award going to that 11 ride early on in this season. But I think Keith Acme's right there. Almost in that comparison as well. We saw him get a good run at Atlanta, but everything other than that, he's been having a rough go. And obviously you can see the emotion there as he's up in the chat. says, uh, I was waiting till after the race, but I'm officially done with iRacing. I've had a good run. Seven years has been a long time. Too much other stuff going on. Anybody need wheel and pedals? Message me. Oh, my gosh. Keith, we can't have you leave, brother. Listen, the bad luck at some point in time will evaporate and you'll find your way to the front of the field here. Don't you worry about it, brother. Don't you go anywhere as we don't want to see you not out there on the racetrack. Braden Carter, Timothy Stubblefield, Chris Nigelio coming in with the likes on the street. Carol Hainsley with that like as well. And cheer on Andrew Hainsley out there on the racetrack. How are you, Carol? Carol coming in to show the love here in this one as 
We'll get a quick word in here once again from uh, Scary Strokes. I'm going to have a quick break, going to get a quick drink into me. I'm going to quickly run to the fridge, and we'll be back to Green Flag Racing here in just a few more moments. The flag is right, where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of black light mini golf in ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Roll your next birthday with our VIP party pack. Our party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night full of flirty fun. Our state-of-the-art arcade has the latest games with the coolest prizes. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish gang over to Scary Sprouts. Whatever experience matters. <laughs> Welcome to Scary Sprouts, where fun meets fright. Where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of black light mini golf. All righty, as we are back to green flag racing quickly. It is the 71 ride of Greg O'Berry out in front, but he's got Zach Lockett down to his inside. The heat is on here at the front of the field as everyone trying to work themselves up to the front of the pack. But now it's a new race leader as Greg O'Berry out in front takes the lead. Here comes a big run for Zach Lockett, though. Lockett taking a look down low, looking for a lane underneath that 71 ride. Adam Pettit right there in third with the 45 ride of Nicholas Cody up 25 positions on the racetrack up into position number four lane phillips right there as well the house of speed nlr pop mic promotions grip at the live number 54 ryan up inside the top five here a good run for him as well up 23 positions brandon key michael madden leroy goblins the 31 of christian delgado in the 94 oh around goes the 54 of lane phillips heavy contact the caution flag Back out into the air, Leroy Koblenz, Michael Madden collected in this one. Heavy damage there for a few of our competitors and another caution flag going to fly here from Richmond Raceway. As we take a look back and see what happens as things close up in a quick, quick hurry here off of corner number two. Looks like it starts with that 54, an unfortunate break here for the 54 ride as, uh, oh man, just a good run going here for Lane Phillips and Definitely not what he was hoping for here late in this race. As it looks like he just loses the rear end here. Goes around on him. And unfortunately for the second time tonight, that's happened to the five ride where the car comes down, shoots down the racetrack into the side of him. Lane bounces back up the racetrack into the side of the 17 of Michael Madden, giving Madden some heavy damage. And then gets a piece of Christian Delgado there as well. Hits Leroy Koblenz as Koblenz slides up the racetrack here. He's going to get hard into that 17 right again here and create even more damage here for Michael Madden. And his great run, unfortunately, may come to an end right there after that one. That was a very heavy contact there from Sparkle and Shine. Anything EC machine as gets tied up in that one and a couple tough breaks a couple tough hits out there on the racetrack as man some tough racing some tough sledding out here in this one and we'll have to wait and see if drivers come down pit side again here you see now bryce dickinson up inside the top 10 john mcneil there as well tyler humphrey up inside the top 10 michael madden staying out there on the racetrack even after that damage Still inside the top six here, but uh, some pretty heavy damage on that ride. As Sean goes here, says, uh, Sparkle and Shine will buff that out, Michael Madden. Yeah, yeah, he'll buff that out. Tis nothing but a scratch. Tis nothing but a scratch on the 17 ride. Tis nothing but a scratch. That is for certain. Aubrey Rogers coming in with that like on the street. Aubrey, welcome coming in. Showing the love here. So match with that thumbs up here on the broadcast as... Uh, Man, some crazy racing action here all evening long as it's Papa V coming in, dropping that follow as well over on the Twitch channel. Coming in, smashing that follow over there on Twitch.tv. Uh, Peacemaker Gaming over there as 
piece. I need some luck. John, my boy, we're sending it your way, homie. We're sending it your way. We want you to get it. We want you to be able to, 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 to get the luck that you need. I think a lot of drivers are thinking the same thing and hoping for some luck themselves here late in the season as we're going to get ready to go back to green flag racing here. I'm going to get a quick drink as we get ready to go back to green flag racing. as we get ready to go back to green flag racing. Only seven more laps left to go here when we see this green flag fly. As Greg O'Berry is going to lead us down through the Geico restart zone, he gets a great launch. Exactly what he needed here to try to run away with this one. Greg O'Berry looking for checkered flag and number three here on the season with the Sim Slingshot Sim Racing Series presented by Race City Racing Memorabilia. He's looking to make it checkered flag number three on the year as O'Berry out in front. Back there behind him, Zach Lockett battling door to door with the 45 of Nicholas Cody. Cody up 40, or 26 positions on the racetrack. He's got a very fast damage dump. Number 17 of Michael Madden driving like a bat out of hell. The 17 ride trying to work himself to the front of the field. Even with the damage, he's looking to get it done as the sparkle and shine anything EC machine looking down to the inside of the 45 ride here for a top three. Adam Bennett right there in position. Number five is the 46 ride. We're getting collected in an early incident and some damage there on the front end of that ride. Still up inside the top five here as you do see the 31 of Christian Delgado getting off into the outside fence there pancaking it ever so slightly as here comes the 94 the must love poodles number 94 ride of Tyler Humphrey right there in eighth and here comes that number 84 of Bryce Dickinson as we do see the caution flag fly here once again looks like Sean Jessick <laughs> Having some issues, the 19 ride, the anything EC machine, having some top walk a little deeper in the field here. Tim and Joseph Atchison come together, he gets spun around up into the outside fence there, down the back straight away, it's a pretty good damage again to the Toyota Camry of the anything electric, anything EC machine. Sean Jessick getting a little tore up deeper in the field there, a jump break for him as Look at that car pointed back in the right direction and keep on rolling. He'll have to probably come down pit side and get some some work done there as you see Bryce Dickinson and Cody DeForge both still up inside the top 10, both looking for some good runs here. John McNeil there in 11th and Ty Dickinson up inside the top 12. So some good runs here for the Dickinson boys. Here's the Black Diamond Mafia, Papa Mike Promotion, Sweet Tea Gang, Peacemaker Gaming. Uh, Michelob Ultra E&D Farms ride of Ty Dickinson there in that 12th position as Leroy Goldblatt, Gary Wright, Andrew Ainsley rounding out our top 15, Thomas Reed, Joseph Atchison, Sean Jessick, James Smith, and Nathan Nixon rounding out our top 20 here in this one. And that was the last thing that I think the 71 where I wanted to see was another caution flag as that will load us up here for a green-white checkered, our first attempt at a green-white checkered here this evening. These drivers will get three attempts altogether. If we hit that third attempt, it will be the next flag ends it no matter what. So if we have to have two more green-white checkers, 
we will see the checkered flag come out no matter what, whether or not there's a caution flag that flies down the front straight away after getting that green flag. It will be the end. They will end the race under caution flag. We never like to see it end like that. We want to see it end under the green flag conditions, but uh, we'll see how it all plays out here in just a few more moments as out in front, Greg Goberry going to get ready to look for this green flag here in just a few more moments. where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of black light minigolf in ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Throw your next birthday with our VIP party pack. Our party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night for the flirty bar. Our state-of-the-art arcade has the latest games with the coolest prizes. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish game over to scare his throats. Whatever experience matters. <laughs> Welcome to Scary Strokes, where fun meets fright, where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of black light minigolf in ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action packed date night full of flirty bar. Over state of the art arcade. Alrighty, as we get them stacked up, racked up, and ready to go, our first attempt at NASCAR overtime here from Richmond Raceway is down to the Geico Restart Zone. Launching out of it, here comes the TaylorMade number 71 ride. Just like a golf ball being driven down the fairway, going right down the front straightaway, the 71 ride gonna lead us down into quarter number one, nice and easy down the back straightaway here, looking for a couple good runs, but contact keeper in the field. Bryce Dickinson collected. Oh no, Ty Dickinson in there as well. John McNeil, Andrew Hainsley. Oh man, a bunch of tore up race cars. Another caution flag. The six ride of Nathan Nixon in there as well. Joseph Atchison turned around again and another big one down the back straight away as things were getting racy here and quickly caution flag gonna come right back out and it starts up towards the front of the field as unfortunately for Bryce Dickinson, Looks like he may have been the root cause of this one as the 84 Ryan is looking for a good run up inside the top 10 right now in this picture and this unfortunately loses the rear end, gets very loose, watches up into the outside fence here. Nowhere to go for Cody to forge and then Unfortunately here, nowhere to go. Here comes John McNeil into the picture. Tying Dickinson both down low, looking to try to avoid the 48 and the 24. They come together, which launches the 84 and the 24 back up the racetrack here. Nowhere to go for Daniel Doe, but he finds a hole getting through there, but everyone else back behind this 84 ride. Not so lucky as we'll take another look at it and see what happened here as... Woo, things are getting interesting here at Richmond Raceway. This is going to get very, very interesting. What the hell, <laughs> Zebra? Yeah, unfortunately, all the Cody DeForge fans up in the chat, not going to be a fan of that one. All the Dickinsons also not going to be happy either. It's an unfortunate break there, and that's a race in it. You see some contacts, the 35 ride, and the one come together. Then you see the six of... Nixon, who gets into the uh, 24 ride again there, as I'm assuming just some heavy right front damage for that number 24 of Cody DeForge. As DeForge is trying to stay out of the way, trying to keep himself, you know, up inside the top 10 there, and unfortunately just runs out of room and up into that outside fence with the 84 ride, just cutting across his nose there and hard into him and just nowhere really for him to go. And... Fortunately for the Race City Racing memorabilia, Dirty Monkey Motorsports ride. It happens this quickly, boom. Right in front of you, nowhere for you to go, sitting right on your lap. And then 
trying to stay with it, trying to keep himself going here. Unfortunately, loses it down through corner three, and then another little hit there from that six ride as Nathan Nixon gets into him. And man, that's a tough break. A lot of tore up race cars, a lot of good race cars, but we do see some of them staying out on the racetrack. You see Ty Dickinson not coming down pit side here in that McFlob Ultra. Black Diamond Mafia, number 67, Ryan, he's going to stay out there now up inside the top 10. Cody DeForge going to stay out there as well, even with a little bit of damage. He's going to keep that car pointed in the right direction and still inside the top 10 here, trying to hold on for a little late race magic and seeing if he can try to make it to the end of this one as we see Joseph Batch and see the one ride of right. Some damage there as well for Andrew Ainsley, who's rounding out our top 14. Thomas Reed, a little damage on the Jack Daniels ride back there in 15. A lot of damaged vehicles deeper in the field as out in front. Another great restart for Grand Go Barry, and that's going to bring this sparkle and shine anything EC machine. A Michael Matt into his outside, and I don't think that's something the 71 ride of Grand Go Barry wanted to see as this 17 ride looking to go back to back here, trying to. Pick up another checkered flag as the 17 ride looking very, very good, very strong. Picked up the win at uh, Auto Club Raceway last week, and he's looking to try to pick up the win here at Richmond Raceway here this weekend. Zach Lockett right there in that picture as well. A good run here for that uh, Tennessee Titans, number 93 ride, Nicholas Cody in the Alpine Stars. Alien, number 45 ride, up inside the top four. Adam Pettit there in fifth. Brandon Key, Christian Delgado, Tyler Humphrey, Cody DeForge, and Ty Dickinson rounding out our top 10. is down to the Geico restart zone. Another good restart for the 71 of Grango Berry. But hanging right there with him was Zach Lockett. Lockett and a good run down on the inside here of that 17 of Michael Madden. They're going to duke it out here for position number two is around goes Madden. Madden goes around now at the corner number two. I do believe caution flag will fly here once again. And that will bring us to the, uh, not the checkered flag, but I do believe that will bring us to our third and final NASCAR overtime attempt here is Michael Madden. It's unfortunately the same thing we saw with the 84 ride and so many drivers before him here. Just looks like down through corner number one and out of two here. Going to lose that rear end and the rear end is going to kick out and around. You got to imagine that the damage that's on this ride may have played an effect onto this and Unfortunately, the rear end just going to step out and around here for Michael Madden. He washes down the racetrack. It's a little help there as well from the 46 as everyone trying to avoid. Michael Madden there pointing in that wrong direction. We'll see if we can jump right on board here with Madden and see what he can see from the cockpit right from the driver's helmet cam and really get a good look at this car as so he just loses that rear end right there. Rear end steps out and around on him. He's just going for the ride. 46 Ryan gives him a little shot some more damage there for him but not a whole lot but fortunately some heavy damage again on the 17 Ryan He's definitely going to take him out of contention here possibly getting the checker flank today as that will bring us up to our third and final overtime attempt here this will be our third and final green white checkered finish of the day ladies and gentlemen boys and girls if you haven't already make sure you hit that like button hit that share button hit that follow and subscribe button as we're going to get ready here for our third attempt at nascar overtime here from richmond raceway Whew. Man, this is going to be crazy. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, there's 18 people watching over on YouTube right now. Only nine likes on the broadcast. Make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream. Uh, if you go to the main screen, if you don't have it full screen, if you look right down low where it shows our name and everything else, you'll see that like button. Make sure you hit that like button. Drop a couple comments. Hit that share button. And, uh, you know, become part of the Peacemaker family. Become part of the Peacemaker crew. Hit that members button as well if you want to join us. Join us over here on the Peacemaker sub club. And uh, get ready for some more wild racing action as things are not anywhere close to being done i think in this one i think there is still some more fireworks to be had here on the evening as things have been looking very very interesting here lap after lap after lap as carol hainsley says andrew three more laps you can do it you're doing fabulous as mama bear says dang it dang it says mama bear that's a tough one right there as Joycelyn says, hey, 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 how are you, Joycelyn? How are you doing this evening, my girl? Jared Argersinger coming in with that heart reaction on the broadcast as well. Miranda Bell 
uh, Aubrey Rogers all coming in with the reactions over there on Facebook. Unfortunately, I can't see the likes over on on uh, on on YouTube, but I, I can't see everyone that comes in and you know jumps into the comment section and shows the love. Uh, Cody's got 541 on his uh, live for his uh, his madness. Oh gosh, little 541 over there on the ticker talkers. Wowzers. Let's go. That's what's up right there. That's awesome. That's awesome. I've never been huge into the TikTok. I watch a lot of TikTok, but I haven't gotten huge into uh, making posts or anything else over there. I think my algo has gone out the window over there. I think I need to restart my account and start over as Greg O'Berry getting ready here for the final green flag of the evening as this will be the final one of the day here. As the lights are turned off, the official iRacing pace car. He is going to lead us down the back straightaway. He'll make the left-hand turn back down pit side, and that will unleash this field for our final green-white checkered attempt. The next flag after this one will be the white flag, and then the checkered flag. No matter what, if the caution flag comes out, this race will end under the yellow. So drivers do not want to finish that way. They want to keep it clean, and green is down to the green, or Geico restart zone. The green flag flies in a great restart there for Greg O'Berry as O'Berry leads us down into corner number two, looking very sharp down at a corner number two here. He's gonna lead us down the back straight away. Drivers bouncing around, some contact back there. This may end it. There's the caution flag and it's gonna end under yellow again. The last thing we wanted to see was that caution flag. The white flag has been displayed here. So no matter what, under yellow, Greg O'Berry is gonna become the first three-time winner here in the sim slingshot sim racing series first three-time winner here of the season the 93 ride's got to keep on rolling so i better tell that 93 he's got to keep on rolling out there on the racetrack he cannot stop yet the checkered flag has not been thrown there you go he saw he got her going here again as there you go down across the line the checkered flag will be displayed it is greg o'berry Picking up the win here in this one. Zach Lockett coming home in second. And Brandon Key coming home in position number three. Greg O'Berry off to his hot start here in the series. Here for the beautiful Slingshot Sim Racing Series presented to you by Papa Mike Promotions, Race City Racing Memorabilia, Buck Crack Motorsports, Dirty Monkey Motorsports, and all of our other amazing sponsors, Scary Strokes, Peacemaker Gaming, and everyone else that makes this possible. As Grango Berry is going to pull up to the front straightaway here at Richmond Raceway, and he is going to burn down the house here. As Grango Berry picking up the win, a little shove, and congratulations from the 48 in the 15 ride. Is there going to celebrate there a little bit with that 71 ride? As here you go, he is going to. Put the hammer down and burn down the house here as ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up for Greg O'Berry picking up the win, his third win of the season. Moving him into the top spot here, the top ranked driver going in to our playoff session as Zach Lockett, Brandon Key, Nicholas Cody, Adam Pettit rounding out our top five. Tyler Humphrey of 24 positions in the sixth position. Christian Delgado in seventh. Cody DeForge up 23 positions to park that 24 line up here in a top 10, up in the eighth position, even with damage. A good run there for Cody DeForge. Leroy Koblenz there in ninth. And Ty Dickinson in the Papa Mike Promotions Black Diamond Mafia number 67 Ryan coming home in position number 10 up 10 spots on the evening there for Ty as he finishes off a top 10 run here in this one as a uh, wild evening of racing action but when the dust settles here at Richmond Raceway it's Greg Goberry who picks up the checkered flag in parks his number 71 ride for the third time into victory lane here on Peacemaker Gaming what a run and what a race right there for that number 71 ride as we will jump up into the broadcast booth with our top three and see who picks up the uh who picks up let's we'll get these drivers in here for a little post-race interview here let's let's see if we can get them in here where are they at where are they at where are they at there they are okay there we go all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls our race winner greg o'berry coming up here into the broadcast booth hey greg it's aaron up here in the peacemaker broadcasting booth they get a copy yeah, man, how you doing? 
Not too bad, Greg. Man, oh man, oh man. Take us through this one. It's a bit of an up and down day for you here. We saw you very fast early on in this race. You work yourself up inside the top five. And then a few moments later, you're sliding down through the infield, trying to hang on to your ride. The caution flag does come back out. You're able to keep it inside the top 20, but you burn up some tire. You give up a ton of track position. And then you have to battle back here, having to try to keep yourself out of some of the carnage, trying to pick them off lap by lap by lap, knowing you still had a lot of laps left to go at the point where you went down through the infield. But you had to pass a lot of very, very tough competitors out there on the racetrack. And slowly but surely, you find your way to the front of the field. And then late in this race, you find yourself out in front after some of the race leaders having to come down pit side themselves. They couldn't make it to the end. And then you have a green-white checkered and another green-white checkered and another one there. And luckily enough, you're able to hold them all off here, even with that late caution flag coming out, ending under the yellow again. Definitely not the way you wanted to see it, but knowing that uh, you had a very, very fast hot rod late in this race, being able to hit those restarts perfectly and giving yourself the best opportunity to pick up the checkered flag here this evening and being able to get it done for the third time here in the series has got to feel pretty dang good, man. Take us back through this race, and how are you feeling right now behind the wheel of that 71 ride? Yeah, pretty good, man. It was uh, certainly a, a entertaining race. A very, uh, very uh, action-packed from from the old '71 car. Um, just there early on, I, well, back it all the way up to qualifying. I was pretty disappointed. I blew my my qualifying lap. I still ran at 85, and that was about three lanes off the bottom through three and four on the second lap. Uh, so if I could have nailed three and four, I think I'd have been sitting on pole pretty safely. But uh, so a little disappointed to to not get that, but. Um, knew I had a fast car, was just biding my time, you know, trying to save tire and ride, and, and it just slipped coming out of four. Thankfully, it didn't cause a caution or, or you know, mess anything up, but uh, very, very patient and very methodical work your way back through the field from, I think I restarted 20th uh, after that happened. Um, so just just taking your time, really, you know, got to baby the tires. It, it really wasn't a need to pit. Uh, we were thinking, uh, myself and, and Zach, uh, lock it there. We were talking about it and, and debating every caution. Do we go now? Do we go now? But honestly, just you didn't need tires. You just needed to cool them off. I ran the fastest lap of the race uh, for myself, uh, I think with 10 laps to go, something like that. So uh, just take care of your car, take care of your stuff, and, and uh, stay incident-free for the most part and uh, put you back here at the top. It's a good place to be. Absolutely no better place to be than out in front and up in victory lane as you park your ride in victory lane for the third time here on the season, man. We're only, what, seven races in? You've already picked up three checkered flanks. You got to be feeling pretty dang good about uh, you know how things have been going here early on in the season for that 71 ride as you've definitely been the car to beat in a lot of these races and you've given yourself looks at winning a lot of these races as well as you know picking up already your third checkered flag. It's got to give you a little bit of a chip on your shoulder knowing that uh, you could be the guy to beat here in this series. Well, I mean, it's, 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 I've been fortunate, you know, I've, I think we've been fast at, at all, at most of the, the tracks this, this season so far, um, been fast, had some help with some teammates, especially with practice, and those guys have been a huge help, um, but it's, tonight was a, a lot of luck, you know, and, and with some of the issues that happened, um, I don't know what happened to the 19, I think it was, they're coming to one to go, and he just hung a left and ended up in the, in the wall on the inside, I don't know what happened there, but um, honestly, you, if, if he wouldn't have had that issue, you'd probably be talking to him right now, not me. Um, just passing was super hard, and if you could control the restart, you had an easy five or six lap that you could just get away and not have to worry about much. So, uh, But no, it's it's been good. I've been fortunate. Um, again, you know, thanks to the to teammates. Um, uh, Chris couldn't be here tonight, uh, but we did add Zach, Zach Lockett to Red Sea Racing this week. Uh, he's he's going to be joining us, and then all the guys with victory. Uh, those guys have been a, a big help too, and a, and a lot of help too, and a lot of fun to practice with through the week um, and, and getting better. So, um, certainly not a solo effort. Absolutely, a whole crew coming together here to make things happen. And you find victory lane once again here this evening, Greg. We look forward to seeing you back out there on the racetrack in the next one and seeing how many more checkered flags you might be able to pick up here before the playoffs get underway. But you're setting yourself up perfectly, giving yourself all the opportunities here to get those extra bonus points and everything else that you can use to your advantage through those playoffs to give yourself an opportunity at this championship. Is that's what's got to be on your mind here, knowing that you've already picked up 
up a few checkered flags, feeling good. But that championship got to be sitting in the back of your mind, knowing that you want to be crowned the champion of the inaugural season of the Sim Slingshot Sim Racing Series. Yeah, we'll worry about all that once the fall gets here and we get to the playoffs. For right now, uh, you know, I was uh, I I live about two hours from Richmond, uh, so it was it was this was pretty good on the bucket list uh, or on the on the wish list to get a win at uh, tonight. Uh, but next week's my favorite track on the servers, uh, Martinsville. That's where my focus is. You know, try to get there and uh, see can't we get us another check flag? Uh, if we add some more points to it and and uh, see can we stack some more trophies up. Absolutely. So we'll have to keep an eye out for you next week as well. Looking to try to make it four wins here on the season. Trying to go a perfect, you know, a pretty good 50 for 50 if you can get it done next week. And uh, we look forward to seeing how it all plays out for you. Great. Congratulations on the great run. Congratulations on the win here this evening. And we look forward to seeing you back out there in the next one. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. I just want to give a shout out real quick to uh, uh, a sponsor I've got. He helped uh, help me out with another paint scheme, Velocity Pixels, Cody Erdman. Um, he's just kind of rebranding and kicking his business back off again with his paint schemes. Uh, look him up. Uh, he's on, on Twitter, uh, Instagram, all the good stuff. Um, did a phenomenal job with this car for me this week. Um, I think it looks great, uh, especially us sitting here underneath the checkered flag. So I appreciate him and, uh, you know, Appreciate all the guys with the, the admin team and running this league. Uh, John, put forth all the work to it. Uh, yourself with the broadcast, really enjoy going back watching these uh, the next day. Uh, a little bit of film review. It's always a good time. So uh, appreciate it, and uh, uh, we'll see you next week. Absolutely, Greg. Enjoy the rest of your night, and congratulations again on the checkered flag. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up there for our race winner. As that was Greg O'Berry, our feature winner here this evening, parking his rhyme for the four, third time here this, e this evening. The season up in victory lane. Sorry, having a bit of a stroke right there. What in the world? As Greg O'Berry gets it done, picks up the checkered flag here. A huge congratulations to him as we'll get ready to pull in our second place finisher. The 93 ride of Zach Lockett. Lockett, a little teamwork here. A one and two finish here for these drivers. And Zach Lockett coming home in position number three. We'll pull that Tennessee Titans number 93 ride up into the broadcast booth. Hey, Zach, it's Aaron up here on the Peacemaker Broadcasting booth. Take a copy. Yeah, you hear me? Yep, Zach, man. What a run. What a drive for you here tonight in this one, man. That Tennessee Titans 93 ride looked very solid all evening long, just up inside the top 10, just kept on rolling, just staying out of trouble, staying out of uh, any you know contact or anything else, keeping yourself just pointed in the right direction. And slowly but surely, late in this race, as drivers were running into issues, you were finding positions there on the racetrack and advancing yourself through the top 10 and up towards this top three here. And late in the race, you were able to make the move to get around Brandon Key in the 17 right of Michael Madden and work yourself up into position number two to come home right behind your teammate Greg O'Berry here for a solid one-two finish and a very very a great drive here for yourself man take us back through this race and how does it feel to be up here on the podium yeah it feels great I uh started ninth and kind of ran around that position all night there kind of in that you know seven through ten range and Figured that's where I'd be able to make the most out of out of my race, and I was, you know, perfectly content with running around there. And um, you know, like I know Greg was telling you too, we just every caution we were like, all right, is this a caution we going to get tires? Is this a caution we going to get tires? And no one in front of us was getting tires, so um, was a little bit nervous there as the race continued to go on, but really felt confident, um, you know, in my ability to not make a mistake and just kind of let cars by me that were faster than me, but also just kind of, you know, hang out in that position and, and let other people make mistakes. And that's, uh, you know, inevitably what ended up happening here. And, um, you know, found myself up in third at, at some point, you know, we, I think it was lap like 80 or 85 or so, there was a caution and, you know, we were like, you know what, we're committed to this, we're committed to this no tire strategy. So, um, you know, really was just trying to drive it in there, drive it in the corners pretty easy and, and you know, keep my stuff from, uh, not, not overheating and, you know, ended up self-spinning myself. So um, thought I did a good job there, put in a lot of laps on practice and, um, you know, very content with, with where I came out here. I, I didn't really have anything for Greg, you know, on every restart, he jumped out there pretty, pretty far. Um, and I, I, you know, like I said, I was, I was pretty focused on not self-spinning myself because, you know, as you can imagine, going through all those heat cycles and, you know, 10 plus cautions, you know, my tires were, were acting up a bit. So 
Absolutely, definitely seeing that out of a lot of drivers. We saw a lot of good cars, a lot of very tough competitors out there having issues throughout the evening, losing you know, rear end you know, traction and uh, looping their cars, including the race winner, Greg O'Berry, as we saw him go down through the infield early in this race and having the rebound from that to drive himself back up to the front of the field to pick up the win. But man, a very strong run, a very strong show in here for you in that 93 ride as you park it up here in position number two, Zach Hoosler to thank for such a strong run and strong performance here this evening yeah i want to i mean honestly i want to thank everyone in, in this league i you know i joined late here a few weeks ago um and it's been great racing and everyone's been very welcoming ever since i uh, i got a lot of points to make up for but i know we uh we have four drop weeks so hoping that those four initial races there can just kind of be you know my drop weeks and then race pretty good and, and consistent here uh on throughout the rest of the rest of the way here and, and get in the playoffs. But yeah, man, thanks to you for, for broadcasting. Thanks to the, my, my new teammates there at uh, Red Sea Racing. Those guys were awesome to, to work with throughout the, the race here. Um, and uh, thanks to uh, Tennessee Titans for being on the car always. I'm a massive Titans fan. Um, always usually rocking this car and, um, you know, shout, shout out to the boys in two-tone blue. Absolutely. Always a Tennessee Titans fan. Uh, who, do you guys, who do you guys have? Yeah, is CJ Shroud on your team? No, uh, Will Levis. He's on. He's on Will the Levis. Texans. Yeah, Will That's Levis, right. and yeah, just you know, he's going into year two. So hoping, hoping he can take another step. Just lost Derek Henry this off season, but uh, you know, kind of going in a new direction here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, a good quarterback though, a good player. And uh, listen, if anyone is in, I, I've been watching for some reason. It's uh, my timeline is now just filled with. Uh, uh, pack openings and everything else for like football cards and baseball cards and anything else so if anyone's got a will levis uh rookie card send it zach lockett's way or send it my way for me and uh i'll keep it uh i'll keep it safe for a while as well as man zach a great run a great drive and a good finish here for you. we look forward to seeing you back up here in the broadcast booth throughout the series and hopefully one of these nights catch you up here in victory lane yeah thank you man Absolutely. enjoy the rest of your night you too all righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up here for our second place finisher. Right there is Zach Lockett coming home in that second spot. We're going to get ready to pull in our third place finisher, Brandon Key. Key with a very up and down evening here. We're going to pull him up into the broadcast booth. Hey, Brandon, it's Aaron up here in the Peacemaker Broadcasting booth. They got a copy? I got you, man. Brandon, man, what a wild run. What a wild evening here for you as a uh, very up and down day a lot of back and forth a lot of carnage a lot of contact for you as uh we still getting bounced around quite a bit here throughout the evening and unfortunately a lot of them just nowhere for you to go drivers getting loose in front of you they cut down the racetrack into the side of you or into the back of you and spinning you around yourself and just putting a lot of contact onto that five five throughout the evening but somehow or another you're able to just Keep on keeping on, keeping the car out there on the racetrack. Somehow it uh, doesn't blow up or expire on you. You're able to just keep it good enough that you can keep on running some good fast laps out there on the racetrack. And late in this race, you find yourself up inside the top five. You slowly work yourself up into that third spot and almost into position number two here. And uh, almost coming home with a win in this race after a very wild evening. But you got to be pretty happy with a third place finish after you know, how this one has went for you. Yeah, man, I, I definitely didn't see a third place finish coming after all the incidents I was in. Um, first and foremost, I want to apologize to the 84. Uh, I spun him out on a caution. I was trying to door bang him and show him my displeasure uh, for a previous incident. And as soon as I tried to do it, he gassed it up and I clipped him in the left rear. And I apologize to him, the league, and all the sponsors for that. But... Uh, for the race, man, yeah, I was a ping pong tonight, and to salvage a, a top three, uh, <laughs> I, I definitely would take it. I, I told you I didn't want to talk to you anymore unless I was in victory lane, but <laughs> here I'll take this one. <laughs> yeah, this one for certain has got to feel like a little bit of a victory in itself after, you know, getting collected in a few racks early on in this race and, you know, having such a good field of drivers i mean it's very a stride. i don't know what it is but uh this seems like just this style of a racetrack has brought out uh 
a lot of caution flags for us here in the season. We saw it at Phoenix, and then we see here in this one, an abundance of caution flags. A lot of very good drivers just getting tore up out there on the racetrack. And uh, there wasn't a whole lot of cars that we saw out there without incident on the track as everyone pretty much had a ton of damage or got collected in a caution flag or everything out there is, is I, th I think everyone probably had to have been collected in one caution flag throughout the evening. I think maybe Zach Lockett and Nicholas Cody might be the only two that really weren't collected in anything throughout the evening. Uh, I think it's just uh, everybody had different lines and different breaking points all throughout the night. And, you know, if you get somebody uh, in front of you that is uh, lifting a little bit earlier than you are, then, you know, you're going to make contact and, and loop them around. But we're, it's a new league. It's what, race six or seven or so, so people are still kind of getting used to the people they're racing against, and uh, we're working things out. But uh, uh, short track racing like this, you're gonna expect a lot of cautions, even even the Coke series and stuff like that. Uh, can't get these type of tracks right, but uh, we got some kinks to work out. But I, I believe we'll get there. Absolutely, nonetheless, still a great show and a great race here for all the fans in the stands this evening as they were on their feet all evening long cheering you guys on, Brandon. A very strong run, a very good rebound race here for you as you park that five right up here on the front straightaway in a podium finish once again. Who would you like to thank here for such a great run and strong performance here this evening? Yeah, Lord and Savior, first and foremost, uh, my family, wife, kids, mom. Dad, I always watch the races, love your broadcast, They're, they really do. Um, and uh, all the guys that revved racing, uh, uh, sponsors, and of course, you putting on a hell of a job every week, man. We, we really enjoy going back and looking at uh, the broadcast because you make it entertaining for sure. Absolutely, man. I try my best. That is for certain. And uh, it makes it... You know, sometimes difficult with uh, an abundance of caution flags. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult with no caution flags. But, uh, you know, it's just uh, part of the craft and always learning, always uh, gaining that experience and knowledge of what to do, what not to do, and what to learn and uh, everything else. And you guys always making it uh, very interesting, whether it's a, a caution-filled race like this or a, a – you know, green to checkered finish like we've seen here in the past. And no matter what, you guys always put on a show, man. 30-plus drivers each and every one of these weeks putting on some great racing for us and, uh, you know, making these all these fans in the stands come back week after week after week means you guys are definitely doing something right and pointed in the right direction here for the series. Sir, man, uh, that's that's the plan John had is to uh, put on a show, and I think I think we've done a good job at that. Um Unfortunately, I'll probably be missing Martinsville next week because I do think I'll get a suspension for the, the incident I had. But I was looking forward to that one. But I'm, I'll definitely tune into the broadcast, man, and, and see the boys put on the show. Absolutely. Well, hopefully uh, no suspension, hopefully no nothing, but who knows. <laughs> but, uh, Brandon, my boy, a great run, a great drive, a solid third-place finish here for you. We look forward to seeing you back out there on the racetrack here in the future. And hopefully we'll see you right back up here in the broadcast booth, but uh, on second and third, and hopefully one of these nights up in <laughs> victory lane. That's right, man. Uh, thank you again, and I uh, hope you have a good night. Absolutely. You as well. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up there for our third place finisher, Brandon Key. Is Key coming home here in position number three? A great run and a great drive there for that number five ride. As ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that will do it here for us this evening. Some great racing action, abundance of caution flags, but nonetheless, these guys put on an absolutely amazing show for us from the drop of the green flag right down to the checkered flag. Thank you all for sticking with us and hanging out with us here all evening long, but unfortunately, that is going to do it for the broadcast here tonight. I thank you guys all for coming in and showing the love, everyone with the likes, the comments, the shares, any of the star senders or donators over the, you know, the super chats over on YouTube, any of the new members, subscribers, followers, welcome to the Peacemaker family. Welcome to the Peacemaker Sub Club, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all coming and showing the love here all evening long. But unfortunately, we're going to call it there on that note. We will be back tomorrow for uh, 
Probably a little Call of Duty stream tomorrow evening. I, 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 we don't have any racing plans, so we'll probably jump in and get a little Call of Duty going on tomorrow evening. A little bit of Rebirth Island as Rebirth is back. So we'll be jumping in there, showing what you guys what we can do on the sticks over there on the controller and what we can do in Call of Duty land. But listen, thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out for now, baby. Peace out for now, ladies and gentlemen, as we get one more quick commercial here from Scary Strokes. Strokes, where fun meets fright, where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of Blacklight Mini Golf in Ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Grow your next birthday with our VIP party pack. Our party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night full of flirty fun. Our state-of-the-art arcade has the latest games with the coolest prizes. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish gang over to Scary Strokes, where every experience matters. <laughs> Welcome to Scary Strokes, where fun meets fright, where every experience transports you to a world of fun. Play 18 holes of Blacklight Mini Golf in Ancient Egypt, a haunted house, and beyond the grave. Step inside our virtual reality arena, where you take control of video games and virtual worlds. Battle robots, shoot zombies, and compete against your friends. Grow your next birthday with our VIP party pack. Our party pros are ready to entertain you with a fright fest you'll never forget. Perfect for an action-packed date night full of flirty fun. Our state-of-the-art arcade has the latest games with the coolest prizes. Be sure to feast on some tasty morsels in the graveyard grill. So come on, bring your ghoulish gang over to Scary Strokes, where every experience matters. <laughs> Welcome to 